The Cost of Burr Rabbit, The American Trickster. The historical hare and rabbit trickster tales were morphed into the well-known American trickster Burr Rabbit. It is important to acknowledge the origins of the American trickster, thereby allowing their correct history, tradition, and culture to be part of the American literary canon. The historical origins of the African and Native American tricksters will be discussed in this presentation, bringing clarity to the clouded origin of the American trickster and adding to the voice of the story creators. When the historical origins of literature are unknown, people are silenced and forgotten. W.E.B. Du Bois strongly believed that a people without a literature are a people without a legacy. To be respected by history, a people's art must be remembered. This was the thought behind his gathering of the talented tenth for the Harlem Renaissance. Du Bois states, Until the art of black folk compels recognition, they will not be rated as humans. This non-recognition for produced art, be it oral narratives, written works, cave etchings, or folk ballads, leads to a people being not rated as humans, thereby not respected by history. So, to discredit or not credit a people's art is a step towards the erasure, their erasure from history. History is the story of humans, the record and accumulation of their events. If a people are not thought of as human, their events are not worth recording. Their art is not worth recognizing. America denied Native Americans and African slaves a history. Having a history speaks to being a people. America refused to view Africans or Native Americans as people due to the committed genocide and slavery. Only non-people are treated thusly. America raised itself and lowered the statues of non-whites through white supremacy. This justified the theft of Native American land and the labor of enslaved people. White supremacy is the belief or promotion of the belief that white people are superior to people of other racial backgrounds and that therefore whites should politically, economically, and socially dominate non-whites. The history of America has been recorded with the Europeans as superior. White Americans were written as the most intelligent, the most civilized, the fairest, the most gracious, the most giving, and the most moral. In contrast, all non-whites were savages, near animals, with little, if any, intelligence. This thought was largely supported by schools of scientific racism that measured skulls and noses for intelligence markers. One of America's first scientists, Samuel Morton, measured skulls, and he believed that the larger skulls spoke to white Americans' unquestioned superiority of all nations of the earth. For over a century, the oral histories of Native and African Americans went ignored leaving the people with little or no representation in the country's literature and a very limited voice in society. Today, many Americans have no knowledge of the Native American societies that flourished and thrived before the European invasion. And they are ignorant of the fact that African slaves were from cultural tribal societies. This lack of historical knowledge denies Americans the true history of their country and the history of Native and African Americans. American supremacist history muffled the voices of both Native American and African. The Native American and African oral traditions contain the history of a people, their social mores, their practice trend traditions, their beliefs were passed from generation to generation in oral histories. The first Native American historical texts were offered orally and they link the earth surface people with the plants and animals, the rivers and rocks, and things believed significant in the life of America's first people. Within these oral history were trickster tales, stories of survival, strength, and cunning. The stories linked the people to nature, not as exploiters, but as dependents of the shared ecosystem. The tales had man and nature coexisting, and the majority of the tricksters were personified animals. 
The trickster tales were in oral traditions worldwide, a story featuring a protagonist, often an anthropomorphized animal, who has magical powers and is characterized as a compendium of opposites. The point of reference for this presentation will be the anthropomorphized hare and rabbit tricksters from Native Americans and Africans. Both existed in American literature, but they have been purposely morphed into the same literary figure. But the tales of the hare are largely African in origin, whereas the rabbit is Native American. The trickster appeared in most primary cultures, cultures without a written language that use oral histories. The trickster assisted in passing values, showing what to do and what not to do. The tricksters in Native American literature and African American literature have similar literary traits, but they are uniquely different in origins. The African hare trickster has its origins in Northern, Eastern, and Southern Africa. The Native American trickster rises from the southeastern areas of the United States. Two notable collectors transferred the hare and rabbit tricksters from oral histories to written literature, Joe Chandler Harris and James Mooney. Harris's The Story of Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Fox, as told by Uncle Remus, was published in 1897. In 1900, James Mooney's Myths of the Cherokee appeared. Both collectors are credited with gathering the stories that allow the trickster an entrance in American literature. A more academic collection began in 1927 with the father of modern anthropology, Franz Boas. On his research team, Boas had two of America's greatest cultural writers collecting Native American and African American oral histories, Ella Carl Delora and Zora Neale Hurston. Both women were upset with what white supremacist history was recording about their people, and both knew the detriment this lack of recognition caused and would cause their people. The stories they collected contained trickster tales from both Native and African Americans, and these hare and rabbit tricksters had different names, African and Native American names, Nana Bose, Bobtail, Kumpel Lipin, Leek, Samba, and other culturally specific hare and rabbit trickster names. But later, the trickster that emerged from the work of the Federal Writers Project, 1935 through 1943, had one name, Burr Rabbit, a male trickster with a Southern American origin, not a Native American or African. The culture change can be credited to the Federal Writers Project. This lack of cultural specific names stopped the linking of the trickster tales to, the, to their correct history and tradition. Perhaps the FWP writers felt that America wouldn't accept a trickster named Nana Boaz or Leek, but, be, but Burr being a Southern colloquialism for brother was more appropriate. It could be argued that this is an American assimilation and a positive occurrence. The trickster had become America. From America's melting pot, a unique trickster emerged. The federal writers did not merely collect folk tales, but substantially reworked them, mixing professional journalism with traditional artistry. The resulting blend was not entirely successful. These tales were not rendered in the actual words of the storyteller, nor were they free of the bias of the collectors. However, assimilation here is a wholesale rejection of indigenous values and their replacement with Euro-Western values. With the replacement of the Native American and African names, a rejection of both traditions and histories occurred. They were devalued, unrecognized, erased due to the continuation of white supremacy. The trickster could not keep their African and Native American names because that would assist in giving Native Americans and Africans a history, a culture, a society that could produce art. This newly created trickster lacks a history, pays no homage to his Native American and African roots, thereby denying his culture. Burr Rabbit, Brother Rabbit's history, is not associated with him. It is deemed unimportant. This emerged trickster credits no African or African culture, silencing the societies he is originally from. His emerged origin is American, nothing else. 
This non-inclusion is stifling to the traditions and people that created the hare and rabbit tricksters. Leek, Samba, Nana Boaz, Bobtail are names related to the true origins of the trickster. The origins and people's traditions were erased with the name Burr. What the created name of Burr Rabbit cost America was advancement. By not recognizing the culture, history, and traditions of Native Americans and Africans, America could not tap into the source of their collected wisdom, their appreciation of nature, their understanding of society, their knowledge of people as part of the world. Most primary cultures demonstrate this existence. The deculturalization of the iconic trickster Nana Boys and Leek illuminates the destructive power of white supremacy. An American trickster without the effects of decolonization. Thanks for watching the presentation.